Hey there drone fans, Rick here again with another review. And in today's video, I'll be testing the APAS capabilities of the brand new DJI Air 3 drone. Now APAS stands for Automated Pilot Assistance System, and it's basically software that DJI's developed that uses the camera and all the obstacle avoidance sensors in the drone to constantly analyze the environment where the drone's flying. And it's looking for solid objects, but more importantly, it's also looking for holes that the drone can fit through. So when you fly into that environment, the drone already knows where those holes are, and it automatically navigates a path around those solid objects to avoid crashing. Now it's not crash avoidance. A lot of drones have crash avoidance. That's essentially the drone finding a solid object and then pulling back so it doesn't run into it. This is much more complex and it involves a lot of artificial intelligence because it has to analyze that environment, again in 3D, and draw a 3D map in the environment and find those perfect little spots where the drone can fly through without banging into something. So I think it's pretty amazing. And I've tested this before. I think DJI's gone through APAS 3, APAS 4, and the Mini 3 Pro. This one has APAS 5 in it, so it's supposed to be the latest and greatest and I can't wait to test this out. Now the way I'm gonna test it, and this sounds really scary, is I've got a pretty dense set of woods behind me, kind of scary too back there, but I'm gonna fly the drone at full speed into the woods. Now I'm not gonna move the joystick left and right or up and down, I'm just gonna fly straight in, I'm gonna let the drone navigate through these trees, and hopefully I don't crash into anything, and I'll take a couple of passes at high speed to see how it makes out. So stay tuned and we'll give it a shot. Okay, with this first test, I'm just gonna fire it into the woods. I've turned on a pass, and you can see there are trees in front of it, and actually the obstacle avoidance is already complaining that it sees solid objects, but I'm gonna trust the A-Pass to actually dodge those objects and fly into the woods. So all I'll do at this point is push the joystick forward and cross my fingers and toes. Here we go. There's a tree in the right, tree in the right. Ooh, it moved over to the left. All right, three trees in front of him. I'm not sure what it's gonna do here. To the right. Oh, that's fantastic. Now to the left. I couldn't do this if I was flying, I'm telling you. Oh, that's amazing, look at that. Okay, it's getting really tricky up front. A lot of small trees. Oh man, there's a big branch. It went over the branch and through the tree. Unbelievable, oh, it's navigating. It took a second there because there's so much in front of it, it had to analyze it. Now, here's the most mind-blowing part of the journey for me. I'm just gonna pull back on the joystick and it's gonna navigate backwards out of those same woods using the rear sensors. I'm not even looking. I can't even look because I know there's a bunch of bramble behind it. It's gonna have to find a way out of those woods. Oh, that's amazing. This is absolutely incredible to me. Here it comes. <laughs> look at that, it went to the left. And now it's going to the right between those trees and up and down. It's gotta go down. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's unbelievable. All right, so. <laughs> I just love technology like this. I can't control my excitement because the drone, it's smarter than I am as far as flying through the woods. All right, let me try another one. I'm pushing my luck here because this does need to see contrast. That's one thing that's really important. And you can see already the sun's going down, a ton of shadows out there in the woods. So I'm sure it's gonna miss a small branch, but uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed again that it doesn't. And I'm gonna send it straight in this time at a tree. Right there, there's a tree in front of it. And let's see what happens. Hopefully it goes in and comes out safe. Here we go. I'm starting to trust it now, but uh, it's heading right for a tree. I mean, this is un unbelievable. Oh, jog to the left. Better go up a little bit, up a little bit. See, I wanna push the joystick so bad, but all I'm doing is pushing that right joystick forward and it's totally navigating. All right, so let me back it out now. Again, this is the part that I still can't get past. It's gonna fly backwards out of those woods, dodging everything behind it, just using the obstacle avoidance sensors. All right, it's making a lot of noise, obviously, because it sees a lot of obstacles. But man, look at that footage. Okay, so that was super impressive. And you can see that the APAS 5.0 and the brand new DJI Air 3 does a phenomenal job of analyzing a complex environment, finding the solid objects, finding the holes, and navigating through that environment. And honestly, I would have never flown into these woods without the APAS turned on because there's so many trees and branches and things I can run into in there, I probably wouldn't have made it in 10 feet without banging into something. So knowing that the APAS is on, it's like a co-pilot in the drone where I'm going in there being a little goofy and the drone's gonna go, hold on a second, there's a solid object over there and here's a hole we can get through, let's go this way. So it's your co-pilot protecting you from running into a tree. And again, I know a lot of drones have crash avoidance, but, and that's great because it keeps you from banging into a tree that's pretty obvious. But when you wanna fly through a complex environment, it really gives you peace of mind knowing the drone can analyze that environment and avoid the solid object. So that's pretty much all I had for today. I hope you found this review helpful. Thanks an awful lot for watching and we'll see you next time. So happy flying. Mm -hmm.